Hi, GoldenEye here. Uh, on this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how to add a device to the IVMS 4500 program. Uh, this app is to remotely view uh, your cameras with a Hike Vision DVR and VR. First thing you're going to want to do is press the icon IVMS 4500. It's going to bring you here to Live View. Uh, to add the device, first you're going to press the top left button, uh, the three horizontal lines, and it's going to take you over to uh, your menu here where you want to press Devices. And it's going to ask you, would you uh, like to give it access to the camera? That's to scan a QR code. Uh, that's something that you're not going to really need uh, the way we're going to be doing it now. So we're going to press Don't Allow, and it's going to ask uh, to access your photos. Uh, and if you do enable this, which I do recommend, uh, this will save uh, pictures and videos that you may have on your DVR or NVR, and you'll be able to save it locally to your phone. So we're going to press OK. Now it's going to have one device already in there. Uh, that is the demo um, uh, device that they've created, the manufacturer. We're going to remove it, sliding it over to the left and pressing delete. Okay, so now we are going to add the device. We're going to press the plus symbol in the top right. We are going to be doing manual adding for this uh, particular example. Uh, here, you can call the alias anything you'd like. Uh, for this example, we'll just call it uh, test. So put test in there. Uh, for the register mode, uh, for this example, we're going to be doing the HI DDNS. Uh, that is a DDNS service that Hike Vision offers built into their recorders. Uh, the device domain we're going to use. Uh, you're going to type in for this example, we created GE uh, Tutorial. So I'm going to type that in here. And uh, that device domain you, you made, uh, or GE Tutorial for this example, is something that you're going to have to create using the DVR and VR to register uh, that recorder for the IP address so it can get forwarded to. So uh, for the username here, it's going to be admin. Uh, we did a capital A for this example. Uh, by default, it should be a lowercase a. Uh, the password we have chosen is otter pop uh, one one. And we're, after you have the password typed in, you're going to go to the top right icon. It looks kind of like a floppy disk. Press that, and you should be good to go. Uh, password security, if it says something right there, we, uh, I recommend making it a stronger password. You can do that by pressing the bottom right button. It looks like three lines. Uh, you click that, and you go into remote configuration. And from here, you can just press change password. But uh, for now, let's go back in the back and take a look at our cameras here by hitting start live view. You can see cameras. Uh, they're on. And uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this. So stay tuned for the next video.